record record this meeting so whoever missionaries who are not attending tonight so they could just review yes. our video yes. so okay good sister evening who is there? Sister, who uh sister who i i don't know um okay. but it's not a problem because we will record our training tonight so that they could again check the video recording video for them to be guided so we're going to start um thank you so much for the attendance this evening um elder and sister neo would you like to uh, invite someone to give us the invocation to start. Any elder to go, you go ahead and lead the program and just listen. Ah, okay. It's your, it's your program now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, um, I would like to invite um, Sister Harris to open with a prayer. And then before the prayer, we will sing uh, hymn number 63, uh, 263. Um, go forward with faith. And then Sister Harris will give us the invocation. And then after the invocation, I will proceed to my training tonight. And then after that, uh, the closing prayer will be given to us um, by Elder Candelario in the Ormoc area. And thank you. Thank you for that. And then. Um, we will start our
Our dear loving Heavenly Father, we are grateful for tonight giving upon us that we will uh, be able to attend this training with Elder Kitoy and with uh, senior missionaries. We're grateful for thy love and for this um, wonderful calling that they've given upon us. Thou bless us, Father, that as we go along with our training, uh, that then Holy Ghost will dwell within us, that we will be able to understand according to thy will. And that's also Elder Kitoy, that we will also be able to guide us um, according to thy will also, Father in heaven. We ask thee, Father, to bless us with thy love and that we will magnify our callings and bless us, Father, that um, we will be able to inspire also and help um, our fellow brethren and sisters to pursue their studies. In this we pray in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for the beautiful prayer. Okay, so we will now begin. Uh, thank you so much, Elder Bustamante for attending and then elder and sister Pio Quinto. so i'm so glad that you are here okay uh, i will proceed to my slide um here so this is the Philippines area matriculation process and then troubleshooting and report. Actually, um, uh, this 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 is already you already the old missionaries are already familiar with this presentation. Um, but I I add something new in order for us to be. Uh, current in this um, training. So the purpose of this training is to really equip missionary in helping students focus on completion. So they matriculate and earn a degree. So this is our objective as pathway missionaries uh, we are the one who have the responsibility to really walk with our students, helping them side by side in order for them to really complete the requirements in Pathway Worldwide Connect. So as they complete with the average required, they pass with that requirement so they can now matriculate and then continue their journey to earn a certain degree. So in section one, the matriculation process. So by winter, we will now begin our next um, semester. So we have here the priority deadline and the final deadline. Semester will begin next winter in January. So um, we, we, we must be uh, particular with all of the deadlines in order for us uh, to give us a reminder that we could um, talk to our uh, pathway student in order for them to prepare. Actually, I think um, we are now in the process of matriculating, uh, matriculation process, and the student is now applying to matriculate. So um, I have a lot, I've seen a lot of problems in, in different area in Visayas because um, I message those who are not complete in the process of matriculation. So they have their uh, different um, problems that they encounter in their life, in their situation. So, um, okay, uh, there is a question. See, Elder and Sister Candelario, go ahead, Elder and Sister. 
uh, muas lang ko kay sa apil ni ang ganang black one o black to uh, okay pathway uh, okay, elder and sister black uh, the process of matriculation is for PC103 so when they are in black one and two so they will go through PC103 and then when they are now in the PC103 that's the time that they, they are now actually the matriculation process is included in their module in PC103 so okay thank you ako lang iklaro oh klaro so usually PC103 judicia on ya included lang tanan missionary for the training so that uh at then they know in advance when the student ask them questions so you can just guide them this is the process uh for their completion and going to the matriculation process so thank you so much elder and sister for that uh, question okay um Hi, excuse me, Elder Toy. Yes, Elder Sister Neo, go ahead. Okay, Elder and Sister Cantanario. Uh, you may ask your district leader, Elder and Sister Pinto, after meeting or in the visits, uh, you can do that for Black One and Black. Okay, thank you, Elder and Sister Pinto, Elder and Sister Cantanario. Okay, go ahead, Elder Toy. Okay. Okay, thank you so much um, for that information, Sister Elder and Sister Neyu. So anyway, we are, we are just here uh, one chat away. We can always be connected to each other. So moving on, um, we should be familiarized with the deadline because this is our goal. We have the priority deadline because uh, we want our pathway student to avail the the percentage of discount so that is why we really want them to uh, be in the priority deadline so they can avail there's there's a lot of um discount that they can avail and then actually they can avail up to 50 percent so this is very um helpful for them Okay, and then uh, this is the, the, the link, direct link um, in order to be directed in the page canning seven ka process that term and condition, personal information, applicant type, background, educational history, account linking and then starts an endorsement this is the seven uh, seven process now i just want to make clear there is a lahang personal information nga when the student is asked if they completed a high school or any subject they 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 completed outside the us meaning outside so meaning we are uh, the student did not have their high school diploma or any transcript of record outside the u.s so the answer would be always no because usually student will put the tick mark in yes <laughs> they, they 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 assume that they graduated high school but there is a clear statement there that outside us so if they are outside us so they should click the tick the no because they are not in the us so usually filipino all of us is outside the us so the answer would always be no so i encounter a lot of pathway students this is their problem they click the yes and then it's very difficult for them to continue there's a problem with the process. And then one more thing is that a lot of students stuck, is stuck in the endorsement process or even in the account link 
the account linking, linking your account to BYUI or BYU Insign, uh, Insign College, there is a problem in the process of linking. So in linking the account, just follow the instruction. There is a clear instructions there. The students should always follow the instruction in order for them to really connect their account in the link. So when there is a problem, when the student accidentally um, can I'm redirected in, in any other window, mawala magunasla, they will be lost. So just ask them to chat. There is a chat there, chat the support chat. When they chat the support, they will send them a, the chat support will give them the PowerPoint step-by-step -step process on how to do the linking how to do their account to be linked in BYUI or BYU Idaho. So with this, uh, do you have any question with the process of uh, seven process? Um, anyone? Um, <laughs> so, uh, I encounter also a lot of students, they stuck in endorsement process. I, I talked already those who did not complete the process. Okay? I, I can see who among those students did not complete the process. So, I give a text message. What is the problem? What, what are the things that holding them back so they uh, they repli they replied um, they said that their bishop didn't give any appointment <laughs> I, I don't know because I don't know if the bishop because maybe the bishop is not fully aware that 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 member in their ward is already done with the endorsement process in matriculis. So I think me, pathway missionary will tap the bishop. Bishop, um, I think you need to check your um, your account because one of our pathway students apply for matriculation. So if we inform the bishop, the bishop will check his account and then he can clearly see that there is already a message that needs for endorsement. So maybe we can do that, um, uh, elders and sisters. So anything, uh, any more? Do you, have, I, do you have any question about the seven process? Um, Okay, uh, silent means no more question. <laughs> we will proceed. Okay. Um, this is the, uh, on how to get a PDF profile. So the student is asking on the process, seven process. So they can type this um, link in order for them to get the, a PDF file as a guide for them on how to step by step um, fill up the, the, the process so they can just refer to the PDF guide. So, Mauna Shia. So, always remember students should not click the apply now. Because when they click the apply now, they will go back to the PC 101, the basic uh, application process. So uh, they will be directed to the application process. So the student should click the advanced path, Kanisha, and then, or he, the student can click the, the box here, the click here, 
this one, the click here. And then the second one, the optional application guide. So they can choose that one. It will lead them to the process, the seven process of matriculation. So, okay. Um, any question? Um, okay, no question. Moving on. Okay, mauna siyang seven uh, process sa PDF. Kita nato siya. And then, as you can see here, uh, akong gi-highlight na yellow. These are the seven steps. Application status. There is a indicator that the students is uh, decided or completed. Um, for example, this one, this is currently students in PC103, uh, the path missionary is Elder and uh, Elder Bostamante, and then Sister Soya. So this, this one is um, those students who completed their matriculation process. So they, they already complete the process in matriculation. So there is a indicator, what is the status of the student when, when the application status is decided and the account link is complete, the background is complete, educational history is complete, personal history complete, yeah, start endorsement complete, terms and condition complete. So the student started uh, Saturday, 17 September, then submitted the same date. And then the transcript is complete. And then the, the result of the application is already complete. So this is only an example in this uh, process of matriculate student. So in the previous slide, is there any question? Okay, if no question, we will just move on, continue our slide. The next is section two, the troubleshooting and reports. So PC103, um, pathway missionaries will encounter a lot of problems with their matriculating students. So these are the, the troubleshooting if we can uh, help them. So maybe we can go through with the process, this one. Step one, um, path to missionaries will be given an Excel file, the matriculati, matriculation data. So just like what I've shown you the previous slide, Nai Kanisila. There is a name of the missionary who are now in PC-103. And then these are the monitoring, just like what I've shown you a while ago. And then um, once the students is identified, in the monitoring, you, we can see the indicator if the student stuck in the account linky, account linking or in the endorsement process. So we can see. Then after that, we will um, step number two. Um, we can use the ABCD approach when there is a problem in the process. So. The ABC approach is A is for the accounts. Maybe the student, they have problem with their accounts. And then B is the browser. Okay. Maybe their browser is not Chrome, or any other browser, Fireplex or any other. Maybe because the recommended browser is the Chrome because there's a lot of extensions 
offered sack room in order for the student to really have a smooth transition of all of the apps in the room. So, monang, uh, the suggested is the room browser. And then the C is cash and cookies. Um, if you have any question about the cash and the cookies, maybe uh, the, the, the cash and the cookies of the of your computer is already kanang piled up na ba ayo. So maybe, maybe we can clear up all the cash and cookies. If you don't know how to clear up your cash and cookies, you can just directly go to the setting. Um, when you open your Chrome, maybe we can. We can see the Chrome here. You can see my mouse here. There's uh, three dots in the upper right. You can click this one and then you can go to the setting. This one. Setting. And then when you click the setting, you can find there. I, I, my computer laptop is already clean. <laughs> so you can go. Um, Cash and cookies. Elder, uh, we don't see anything. In, uh, I, you don't screen. see anything? Okay. Um, I will to stop sharing. Okay. And then usually there's, there's a lot of path missionary. They don't know how to clear up the cash and cookies. Or the student, they don't know how to clear up. So the system of their computer is very, very slow, very slow. So I can show you on how to clear the cache and the cookie. So first thing is that when you see, when you see my mouse, the far right there, the three dots there, here. So you can click the three dots, this one. And then you will go to the setting here. When you go to the setting, here you can see the cash and the cookies. For me, there's no more cash and cookies because I already cleaned this up. So I cannot see any more <laughs> cash and cookies. But you can find it here. And then you can just clear it up. You can click uh, the clear. Clearing the all the... Yes, I, uh, Elder. I will, uh, say something. You, you may click on privacy and security on the left side. Yeah, this one, the privacy and the security. And there. And there, they here, the cookies and the site. This one, Elder. Yeah, there's one at the top that says clear browsing data. That would also lead you to clear history cookies. Okay. Yeah. So this one, clear history cookies, cash and more. So this one, um, elders and sisters. Thank you, Elder. You can't, no? Uh, you're welcome, Elder Keith. That's uh, optimizing the browser as well. Yeah. Yeah, this one. I don't want to clear because I I I will forget my I uh, know, so I can just leave it there. But we can advise students if they, if their system is very slow, so they can also um clear their cash and cookies so elder is there anything more that we can help the student on how to clear if their system is very very slow elder you can talk oh okay yeah they can they can try a different browser just like what you suggested earlier uh, other than chrome um but uh 
th that's just optional anyway. If that will not work for Google Chrome, they might try uh, Firefox or Internet Explorer. Uh, but most of the time, we uh, it's it is just working in Chrome anyway. Uh, other than that, they can try to uh, restart um, and open a new browser. If they have firewalls, uh, say for example, their antivirus is not updated, they also have to check on that because sometimes it will also affect um, uh, their browser. So, okay. So, okay, that, that's, uh, this is recorded. So we can, we can do that and review how to clear if the student has different browser. So thank you, Elder, for that information. You're welcome, but I agree, Elder Kitoy, but most of the time it's just going to be resolved by just clearing the browser because sometimes it's just congested. It's the reason why it's not uh, working properly. Yeah. So, okay, so thank you so much for that information. Okay, um, going back, stop. Okay, wow, that's good. So, Again, we go back to my slide. So here. So we're done with accounts, browsers, in cache and cookies. So before we go to the details, any more um, relevant information that we can share uh, based on your own experience? Um, as a pathway missionary on how did you um, solve the problems that arises between your students? Yes. There is another one when the this they can go to start then go to then get uh scroll down go to the administrative to windows administrative tools okay and then after that administrative tools they can click the this clean up <clears throat> this uh this clean up claims all the updated and then those uh all the update na uh, the the internet as you know chrome is updating so those all the updates will be clean if you will click the this clean up then they will, uh, the computer will be cleaned, the disk will be cleaned up, and all those new updates will remain, but those old updates will be removed. Oh, that's new. I, I, I don't know that uh, that process. So, Elder, Elder Neo, can, can we ask a, what we call that, the, that process on how to do that simple process so we can also share to every missionary in Visaya zone so when they encounter that um, they can also try that other way around how, how to clean their okay, browser so i will try to share my screen i can, I can show it also Okay, so this is recorded. Uh, we can, I can, I will stop my, my share so you can present. Just click. Uh... This one in the click the start. Okay. Then after click after clicking the start, scroll down. You can see this one. Uh, this one Windows administrative tools. You can click this one. Then after that, you click this clean up. Then this yeah. will appear. Yes. You download it to Chrome files. Temporary internet files and the stack will be temporary files and thumbnails. And this one will be able to then click this one, clean up system files. Okay. Then after that, this will appear. This clean up is calculating how much space you will be able to play on Windows, 
uh, is this is this using the uh, minutes to operate. And okay. after that, this will appear again. This windows update clean up. These are all the old updates. Dapat ko rin mo kung kung dasya kaya mo na isa makahine sa computer. Okay. After that, you click again this one, click OK. Then as usual, you want to permanently delete this file. Just click this one, delete files. Then you will be the, this clean up for the start of completing your uh, scene. Remove all those old files. And may only play them. Your, uh, your PC will be clean again. But actually, I'm doing this every week or every month. Oh. Um, how about a uh, question, Elder Neyo? Is there any, uh, is you have your password or any document or link that you already have in your system? When you clean this up, everything will start back to zero? No, it will not, it will not start back to zero. Just clean up those uh, downloaded files. Your files. Uh, only the downloaded files yes, will be removed. Those coming from the internet files, actually they updated the uh, Chrome, updated Firefox, because that will keep in uh, backing up say your memory and it will uh, be loaded in memory also. Anyway, the latest update is the most important data. This is what I am doing with my PC. Is I starting to slow down. Okay, so have you find it very effective, Elder Neo? Yes, actually, uh, I will open this one. For uh, for example, this one, this one. I will open okay. this, then click open. I will. I am monitoring this one. This uh, three fifty five minutes wait. Because sometimes the updates can make this full up to here. Yeah. The updates can uh, make your disk say full. Mm -hmm. So we need to disk it up. Or uh, this one. Uh, what's this? This fragmentation. Those uh, files that have been uh, disfragmented should be uh, intact the code. Yeah, na code ay fully. I am doing this actually every month. I am doing this under Gitoy. So my PC is always clean of those old updates from the internet only. Your files will not be affected. Your personal files will not be affected. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Wow, very, very great information. But really helpful. There. So Thank you so much, Elder Neo, for that additional knowledge. Um, actually, just now I <laughs> I know the process. I, I just know the process right now. So thank you so much um, for that sharing. Okay. So any more? Okay, so we will move and then we continue. I continue my slide here so if the problem could not um set could not solve the problem that problem our student did not not been settled so we will proceed to the details tip number three so we can have a zoom meeting with our student uh, with the matriculation representative so me and the pathway missionary and the student is having a Zoom meeting in order for to help really the student in how to settle the problem. So everyone is there fixing the problem. If cannot, so we will go to the step number four. So we will have a checklist on how to help the student to be submitted in to the pathway support. So this is the, the form that the student will fill up and then um, to be submitted 
to the support pathway support. So we will fill up this together and then I will get the copy and I will send this to our matriculation specialist. And then we will wait for three days. If not, so they will directly go ahead to the main office to really solve the problem. So three days and then if no, nothing happens, they will escalate this and then will be sent to the home office. So this is also the one of the form that needs to be filled up for um, submitting this into the home office. So I have this um, PDF file. We can, I can give you this copy in our GC. So the link will be provided and then student gathering missionaries will fill out a form and give to the matriculation representative. Then matriculation representative will send this form to matriculation specialist and then home office via email. So that is the process. Okay. Um, any question? All of those troubleshooting? Okay, Elder and Sister Pukento. Uh, yes, uh, Elder, Elder Kitoy. Uh, going back to the uh, uh, cons possible concerns earlier, it also pays for us to ask our district leaders or zone leaders if there is an ongoing issue uh, with the system uh, so that we will be aware uh, perhaps there's just an ongoing problem that they are trying to fix uh, rather yes. than, uh, yeah. There is a channeling, process of channeling that we can tap our district leaders and then zone leaders and then uh, especially matriculation specialists. So everybody's working together in order to really focus on solving problems our students so that that would be very helpful when everybody is looking and then helping on how um, a student get out from that problem because I I have seen a lot of heartbreaks uh, with those students who are impatient so they will just simply say uh, I will quit I will stop so it's very heartbreaking so uh, sometimes we we may encounter um, problems uh, accessing a particular website, um, but only to find out that another uh, issue on system. So it pays to know as well, uh, so that we'll we'll just be aware, and we can inform the students that uh, they are working on it. Yeah, lately this year or previous months, there's a lot of issue in the system and then um but good thing is that the pathway support will give us information that they are updating or they are doing something so that would be very helpful to scatter the message to everyone so that everybody's aware and then will easily be can um, guided the student that this is what really happened in that way we can comfort them <laughs> so thank you so much elder uh, pukento for that um, very helpful information um, here we can see that everybody is seeing each other's back and then helping each other thank you so much so moving on um, Next is the survey. Uh, this is the survey, section number three, survey. I think um, we are all familiar with this. Every time PC103 is about to end, so the pathway missionary will give the link for the student to fill up the survey. So the information content of the survey is that 
we can rage, we can see, we can um, forecast or foresee who are among those students will continue. Uh, though it is not very accurate, but we can see at least we have this data in order for us to really identify students uh, who will be matriculating and then maybe we can encourage them those who answer no or maybe we can give them um, motivation in order for them to really um, get back. Um, I have seen a lot of no answer and then I give the message and then I found out that their concern is not really a big issue. Example, uh, they, they told me that, oh, I will, this semester, I will not continue to matriculate because I'm doing these things. But the next semester, um, I will continue my online degree. Then I found out that there's, not, there's no problem with that because you can still matriculate even though in the coming semester you will not register so um i really pointed pointed this out to them that even though you are not going to register you just have to matriculate because when you matriculate you will have your own student portal whether in byu idaho or in B or inside college so you can have your own um, portal so when you are ready you can just directly go to your degree degree planner and click the register so anytime you can enroll murashag tr ba murag tr although we are not going to the temple but we have the tr so anytime we can go there and then participate ordinances the same as the student even though they are not they, they have circumstances that block them to continue but they have the heart to really continue so they can just matriculate and then when they are ready so they can register right away so a lot of students i i i, I received message from them they told me this is their problem this is uh, what happened to them? Why? What are the things that holding them back? So I asked them, that's not a big issue. You can just do this and do that and then continue your matriculation process. So can I share, um, uh, anyone, anyone of you who encountered um, students who can, um, they thought it's a problem, but for us, maybe it's not really a problem. So that's that's my my experience. Uh, I share it to you because um, I don't feel good when the student give the reason and then it's not really a problem. So maybe we can help them in some ways, and then we they can continue to be motivated and then matriculate. So, and then we proceed. Um, any more so survey? Nah, then we can see part of the questions na certificate only or associate degree, bachelor's degree, not planning to take any. So, which is which? when they encounter problem that holding them back, so may, maybe we can talk to them. So this survey link will be um, emailed to student to the, from the matriculation specialist. Okay. Um, so section four rules of Pathway missionary, every one of us, we already um, talked about on helping each other. So these are the picture. Uh, this is old picture. So 
on carrying the piano. So this is a talk given by Elder Ockdorf na um, if everyone is holding and then carrying, so the task or the load will be much easier for us to solve if there is any problem that arises. So Elder Ockdorf says the what informs but the why transforms. So this is really true. Uh, why is our objective? If we know the objective, if the student know the objective, it will transform them and then they will be very easy for them to understand the what. And then the how it will just follow because of the trainings that we have um, every time. If there are new things that will, new direction or new instruction that will be given to us. So the student will always be informed um, with all of the how because the missionaries understand the why. Okay, so um, is there any question anymore that we need to talk about? So if there is none, I would like just to send to you the, the matriculation and the requirements, I know the, um, the one that we, you can determine if the student is qualified to matriculate based on the grades. So there is an app on how to understand their grades. So I can share this to you here. Um, where is that? Um, here. So this is the app that you're going to, to see. Um, you can see my cursor here, uh, pointing PC 101. If the student got B plus or B minus or B, example, the student got a B. And then in the PC 102, they also have B minus. And then PC 103, they got A minus certification they got b so you can see here section 3 verify requirements meet you can see there is no check mark because that the student did not qualify you can understand the student qualify if there is a check mark Example, we will change this A and then A, A, A. And then the certificate is one. So you can see PC, PC completion requirements met check. You can see here the section three. And then online degree eligibility requirements met check. So uh, Ganina, you didn't see any check. Now the student passed. We will change this to B because the average is B. B here, B. And then certificate first one. So you can see the check mark there. So when there is C, so there is the student quality, uh, complete the pathway, but there is no check in eligibility requirements on online degree. So meaning the student cannot matriculate. So you, this is the indicator. We can see the indicator. We can determine our student if they really pass or they really comply the average B. So we can also see in the this one program GPA, we can see the number 2.5 because we need a three, right? So this is not, it didn't reach the three. So the student must get the three in order for them, this one three, in order for the eligibility online degree will be indicated as check. So 
I will be giving you this um, link in our group tonight so that you can walk around and then you can start now um, uh, getting the information. Actually, our PC-103 pathway missionaries are um, Elder Bustamante, Elder Imatong, Ide, yeah. Luperas, Nies, and then Sister Soya. So these are the PC-103 teachers. Um, so do you have any question with the app? Silence means nothing. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I think we are all done. And then if there are any questions that will come to your mind after the meeting, so we can just, you can just give a chat in order for us to um, be informed. And then everybody can also give their um, experience on how they settle the problem. So I'm so grateful for every one of us here who attended this um, simple training. Um, I hope that you learned something. Um, thank you so much. And then I would like to testify um, to all of you um, elders and sisters, whatever happened um, around us, we will go forth with faith in our opening hymn a while ago. Um, I know Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will continue to give us the strength and give us the inspiration and direction on how to help our path is to I know this is true and I share that to you in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. Um, closing prayer, see Elder Candelario. Our gracious Father in heaven, most merciful Father, for the wonderful time we go to attend to this uh, meeting um, as pathway missionaries. We are so much grateful for the information we received today. We are able to help our students. We are so grateful also for the gospel and the blessings that you have given to us and then the opportunity to serve you. We pray, dear Father, this time as we close this meeting, may the Spirit continue to abide us. You continue to guide us, to be able to help uh, my sons and daughters uh, improve their education. And we pray also that God will bless us, uh, leaders of the church, to continue to be an inspiration and guidance to all our students. And all these things, Father, we pray that ask for in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Thank you, Elder Candelario. Thank you so much for your time. See you again. Um, stop recording. <laughs>